Let that woman be battered by her husband. Let this person, let this family struggle to find food to eat. Let this person languish in prison for years without trial. In April 2005, I saw one of the most incredible dreams that I've ever seen in my life. I was in Belmarsh prison in house block three. I actually saw it. I actually saw. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Man cannot live without hope When you are going through a struggle or a hardship or a calamity and days turn into weeks weeks turn into months and months turn into years and you're thinking when is this going to end what is going to happen after this what comes next what do i have to look forward to this is my life i'm just stuck in this there's nothing after this These are some of the thoughts that the shaitan, he puts in our mind when we are going through a hardship. The Prophet wasallam, on the night of the Isra and the Mi'raj, when he went up to paradise, he said, I met Ibrahim salam, Prophet Ibrahim salam. I met him and he said to me, O oh Muhammad, give my salam to your ummah and tell them that the soil of Jannah, the soil of paradise is fertile, its water is sweet, but it is barren. And the trees of paradise are planted with the words, Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Which means glory be to Allah, praise be to Allah, there is no God but Allah and Allah is the greatest. And this is my third dua that I used to say a hundred times a day. A hundred times a day I would say this dua. Once the Prophet ﷺ was passing by Abu Huraira and he saw that he was planting something in the ground and the Prophet ﷺ asked him, what are you doing? And Abu Huraira replied, that I'm planting something for myself. And the Prophet ﷺ said to him that if you say, every time you say, Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, every time you say that, a palm tree is planted for you in paradise. When was the last time you went on a holiday? even or you went somewhere for a break or you plan something they say most of the fun and the enjoyment of doing an event or holding a, a dinner or going on holiday it comes in the planning where you have something to look forward to and yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that say these words and every time you say it I will plant a tree for you in paradise. A tree will be planted for you in paradise. If the tree is planted in paradise by its owner, then its owner has to be there to see it. And he will go there to see it. When we talk about Jannah, oh yeah, that's far away. And, and you know, sometimes... Let me ask you another question. What do you mean by the term Jannah? What does Jannah, paradise, what does it mean to you? When you see its descriptions in the Quran. In April 2005, I saw one of the most incredible dreams that I've ever seen in my life. I was in Belmarsh prison in house block three. 
and I was in quite difficult circumstances at that time and I won't share the details of the dream now maybe I'll do that at some other time but in that dream I saw Jannah I saw paradise now whenever I recite the Quran or I read the hadith or I hear any mention or description of Jannah in a talk or a lecture or someone says it I think to myself that I have seen it it's real Jannah is real it's not this it's not a movie it's not a pie in the sky idea which is far away I actually saw it I actually saw Jannah this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is preparing this is what Allah this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for you and it is waiting for you so all of these struggles that you are going through this hardship that you're going through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it does not give him pleasure to put his believer through pain he doesn't sit there with nothing else to do thinking let me cause these servants let me cause them pain let that woman be battered by her husband let this person let this family struggle to find food to eat let this person languish in prison for years without trial let this person be disabled Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he doesn't do these things for his pleasure he does it for a wisdom and a benefit that we can't see yet but one day he will reward us for that so this beautiful dua and every time you say it, picture that tree that is being planted for you in paradise and i will say it in the playlist i will you and in this playlist you will see that i have said it a hundred times i will say it for you so that it's easy, you don't have to say it on a bead, you can put it on in the car or you can put it on in the background and you can read along with me. Start saying this a hundred times a day along with the other two du'as that we covered earlier on in this series. So by now you should be saying those du'as. So 100 times a day you should be saying La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la lahu al-mulku wa lahu al wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadeer and a hundred times say subhanallah bihamdihi subhanallah al-azim astaghfirullah and now start saying a hundred times a day subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar say a hundred times a day and one hundred palm trees will be planted for you in paradise start investing in your real estate and imagine what that jannah is going to be like imagine this home that you're building for yourself in your darkest moments when you are about to lose all hope and you're thinking I'm finished think what Allah has prepared for you before I end again that message I have for you are you struggling do you feel there's no way out are you about to give up hope I am making dua for you May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring you relief and give you strength and take you out of your hardship and show you better times than the times you are experiencing now. I have three requests for you. Please make dua for anyone who is watching this video and they are struggling. Please make dua for them. Secondly, Please make dua for the people that allowed me to use these facilities where I'm sitting now, where I'm filming. Please make dua for them. And lastly, please like, comment, subscribe and share my content. Every time you click the like button or you type a comment, then it does something to the YouTube algorithm and the YouTube shares it to more people. If, and if more people benefit from it, then you will also get that reward. Subscribe to my channel 
and share this content. Share it on WhatsApp, share it on social media, share it to anyone who you think may benefit, who is struggling, because the more people that benefit from this content, the more reward you will get for sharing it. Until next session, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Oh,